Okay, everybody, it is time to figure out how you can better read greens. How it's going to be breaking, the pace, everything that you need to hold more putts. And guess what? It is just really simple. To practice this, you're only going to need three things. A golf ball, a putter, and a green. If you can find a green with a bit of slope, that would be ideal. Now, I am going to do a very quick test. Kieran is on the camera here. Kieran, can you confirm to the audience watching at home this is your first time on this putting green. It is my first time on this putting green. We're going to hit a putt towards that hole there, OK? I'm going to chuck this ball down, walk up to it for me, have a look at that hole, tell me three seconds. What do you think it's going to do? Uh, left to right. OK. Let's have a look and see if Kieran's instinctive reaction to this putt was correct. Eyes like a hawk, Kieran. Unbelievable scenes. Let's have another go, shall we? What about that one there? Uh, I'd say that's pretty straight. Pretty straight. You're a wizard, Kieran. <laughs> now, this is the point that I really want to emphasize. Unless you've got something wrong with your inner ear, you're going to be able to get on most greens and have an instinctive understanding of what the break is going to do. And if you don't believe me, the next time you go out and play, don't bend down, don't look at putts, just get out there, get a sense and have a stroke. You will be amazed at how good your instinctive green reading is and you can trust it that little bit more. When I did the 100 hole challenge last year, this is something that really came across. Just the instinctive green reading can make a huge difference. But what if you wanted to go to the next level? So we're on a put here and instinctively I know that this is downhill and I know it's right to left. I can get a, a feeling of where that's going to be breaking. But if you wanted to go next level, if you really wanted to get into the visualization and an understanding of how these puts are going to break, you can do a drill which you only need three tees for. So I'm looking at this hole I'm imagining where the break is going to be and I can kind of see I'm going to have to set this ball off around here to get it curving back in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my putter, I'm going to point it over my intended start line, note the point next to the hole and I'm going to stick my tee in the ground. This is my aim line. We obviously have target which I'm going to put just behind the hole. And then just for a reference point, if I want to redo the putt, I'm just going to put a T behind the ball here. So we have start line, we have target, and in between those two points, you have this angle. Now that represents all the different ways that this putt could break depending on the speed that you hit. And what you want to be doing is get yourself set up, using that aim point, starting it off on that line and then just letting it roll around to the hole. Turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in, turn in! Oh. And the more That's and more you bad. practice that type of drill, when you get out onto the golf course, you'll start to see puts more in that manner. So you've got your intended start line, you've got your target line, and you've got this shaded area in the middle, and then it's all about pace. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, take a screenshot now for all the information entailed. Also, save the video, so next time you want to put it green, you can pull this out, have a watch, and do the drill straight away. If you haven't already, please become a subscriber to the Swing Quest channel and part of this community, and continue a little bit of help with your short game. How about this one? How to start the ball online every time. Wonderful. <laughs>